For decades, Yvonne Missy Woods was Colorado's preeminent forensic scientist, her DNA analysis instrumental in convicting notorious criminals like the Hammer Killer. But last November, the Colorado Bureau of Investigation, CBI, revealed anomalies in her work, prompting her abrupt resignation and a criminal probe. The scandal, potentially historic in forensic DNA testing, has thrown the state's criminal justice system into turmoil. Colorado must now review and retest around 3,000 DNA samples handled by Woods, with public defenders warning thousands of cases could be impacted. Prosecutors brace for a wave of legal challenges as state lawmakers allocated $7.5 million for potential retrials and retesting. At issue is whether Woods was merely careless or intentionally mishandled evidence over her 29 year career to secure convictions. Her attorney says she stands by her court testimony, but a CBI email revealed she had altered data and reported selective results in some cases. As of early December, however, no inaccuracies had been found in the DNA evidence she provided. The fallout could extend to wrongful convictions and the need to retry properly convicted individuals due to flawed DNA testing. The impact is really significant, said Boulder County District Attorney Michael Dougherty, whose office identified 69 affected cases. One high-profile case is the upcoming triple murder trial of Garrett Coughlin, where the CBI flagged missing data in Woods' analysis. Defense attorneys question how such misconduct went undetected for decades despite peer review protocols. This says there is something very wrong with forensic testing in Colorado, said Mary Claire Mulligan, whose client's trial was impacted. Mulligan and others want answers on why the lapses weren't caught earlier. While officials claim the issues are limited to Woods, a separate probe led the Weld County Sheriff's Office to fire a DNA analyst over anomalies in March. The inquiries converged as the separate crime labs had collaborated on cases. Once hailed for cracking cold cases like the 1984 Hammer Killer murders, Woods now faces a lawsuit alleging her mishandling led to a wrongful conviction. As the investigation continues, Colorado's justice system grapples with reverberations from one of the nation's biggest forensic scandals. 